Do you speak to your sister? No. An affair is exposed. I was having a relationship with her husband. That's what brought me there. A boyfriend is confronted. He crackles the taser inside the vehicle. Then he opens the door. When did your husband get a taser? He's never had a taser. Then they both got a jolt. So we're tussling. When he tased me, I bit down on his finger. That's how he lost half of his finger. Judge Judy. Mr. Callahan, it was you that was arrested, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And it was you who were arrested on the strength of a complaint made by the defendant? Yes, ma'am. And you do acknowledge that you did, in fact, make a police complaint against the plaintiff? Yes, you are. OK. First, I'd like you to tell me how you know each other. His girlfriend is uh, my wife's sister. We only know each His other's... His current girlfriend? Yes, as far as I know. Is that correct? Yes. Is this your girlfriend? Yes, that's my girlfriend. And you two are sisters? Correct. And how long has she been your girlfriend? About three years now. We also have a kid together. Would it be a fair statement, Mr. Smith, that sometimes your relationship has its high moments and low moments? Yes, that's correct. And I'm reading the complaint and the answer. And the complaint and the answer suggests to me that it was during one of those bad times that you and Mr. Callahan got into an altercation. That's correct. And what period of time was that? What month and year? OK, the month I got is 4 18 April 30th. Yes, yes, ma'am. 2018. Yes, ma'am. So I want you to tell me what happened, because he's okay. suing for a false arrest. OK. I want you to tell me what happened on April the 30th, 2018, that caused you to go to the police. OK. Me and Lydia went to Seven Day Dental. S seven Day Dental is a place where you get your teeth worked on. I had an appointment there. OK. We were having a little spat, OK? So I asked her to leave, because she was causing a scene at the dentist's place. OK, so you were arguing at the dentist? Yes. OK, so after yeah. that, Timothy lives up the street, like a block away from the seven-day thing. So she walked over there, OK? To the plaintiff's house. To his place, OK? So by this time, I'm still trying to do the process with the dental thing. So he didn't take me because my blood pressure was up, because we had been arguing. So he said, well, you know, we're going to have to send you off. You come back when your pressure is down, OK? Because he didn't want to work on me. So I go home. I'm pulling up to my driveway. His vehicle is blocking the driveway, and he's sitting in the car. So I politely got out and walked over to his window and asked him to move out on the street, because he's blocking the driveway. He Just said, a second. So far, is it correct that your wife's sister came to your home on the 30th of April? Yes. And did she speak with you on the 30th of April? Yes, she did. Did she complain that she and the defendant had had an argument? Yes. I want you to tell me what she said to you. She just... No, look over here. Sorry. Not over here. Sorry, ma'am. Now look over here. Now we know she... she came to your house after this argument. She came to my house um, complaining about the argument. I didn't really listen too much about what was going on between them. She called him and verified that she could come and pick up her property at his house because she was being kicked out of his house, his apartment or whatever. When she left, did you tell her that she had to leave? No, ma'am. OK. Stand up. Did you tell Mr. Callahan that you had to pick up your things? Yes, I did. And did he assist you by taking you in his car? Yes, he did. And when he pulled up in his car, was your boyfriend at home? That's correct, yes, he no, was. No, no. When he pulled up in his car, was your boyfriend at that moment home? Or did he come home afterwards? He came home afterwards. And Mr. Callahan's car was blocking the driveway? Yes. Good. Now you can sit down. What happened next? OK. I walked over to his driver door. And I asked him to park out on the street, because he's blocking the driveway. His response is, who in the are you? He grabbed his taser. He crackled it inside the vehicle. Mind me, he's got his two kids in the back seat. He crackles the taser inside the vehicle. Then he opens the door. He goes to taser me with the taser. After he tased me, I Boom, boom, knocked him back up inside the vehicle. So we're tussling. I'm trying to get the taser from him at this time. He's on his back. I'm on top of him in the passenger seat. We had already worked from the driver's seat to the passenger seat. He goes, puts his finger in my mouth, and he goes to taser me at the same time. 